What's going on guys, Jameson here, doing a hopefully uncut review of this product here. It is of course the Amfocus bike tail light. You can find this on Amazon. And uh, it's unfortunately been super rainy this spring, so I haven't gotten it on my bicycle. But I've tested not only the battery life, but also the range. And for those of you riding tandem bicycles, this at least spans 10 feet. I actually did it from across my house and the signal goes for at least 30, 40 feet. So it's a ridiculously long length. I honestly thought like, oh, you could even use it for like a car trailer or something. Um, anyway, range aside, let's get right into it because I'm getting ahead of myself. So the box, nothing really interesting. We're just gonna throw that out of the way immediately because there's really nothing to be said. You of course have the tail light, which we'll get into its functionality. And inside the wonderful little goodie box, we have a plethora of material. Now, uh, one comment, one review said this was like the hardest thing ever to work. I'm not getting that at all. I didn't even read these instructions and uh, I figured it out. It's, it's incredibly easy and I'll show you how to do everything. Um, so inside this box, we have a mounting bracket. So basically this unscrews and you can put this on your uh, seat or I guess wherever else you want to mount it on your um, bicycle. Um, and then the light just snaps right into it. There's a little tab there. So listen for this, it like clicks and then you, it won't come out of there until you pull this tab. So really nice, it's not gonna bump off and you're not gonna lose your tail light. That's good. Um, we have the switch itself. I'll get into more of this uh, later, but basically it's wireless controlling this and uh, each one of these devices have a battery. I kind of wish there was a wire, but this is nice, you know, less wires to deal with. Uh, my bike has so many wires as it is, you know, you got brakes, you got gears, you've got um, headlamps, if you've got any of that, and whatever else, accessories. Um, it comes with a micro USB cable, which is useful for charging these accessories. They did come pre-charged. Um, I charged them though for a while, so I think they needed some juice. Depending upon how long they've been in storage for you, they might need a good charge. Inside this little frosted bag are two little, uh, I guess I would call them O-rings, but they're clearly not O-rings. Um, and you, if you have any other accessories, like a headlamp, or sorry, a headlight uh, for your bike. You've probably seen these before. So they just loop around your handlebar or wherever else you want to put this, and they just compress on there. And they have these nice little tabs to make getting it on and off easier. Um, then there's also two sizes. So that's a bonus there. Um, let's check out the functionality of this. So to operate it, there is, uh, first of all, charging port is on top. There's a nice big rubber gasket. It's like double sealed. Really like how they did that. And there's a button on the bottom. Hold it down for a second and it will come on. And there you go. <laughs> it's on. Same thing for the remote. Hold the power. And I've already paired it, but to pair it, simply hold down both the buttons and eventually it'll click and they'll work. So it's memorized the pair. So I can go this way, this way. I can say both ways. My hazards. I could turn the light off if I wanted to. Uh, you can also change the pattern. So there's a few different ones here. There's a flash, there's this cool little runway style pattern. And then there's off. And as you can see, it's still on. I can still do my signals, but the running light isn't on. So I'll turn that off. And uh, one thing I don't like is the beeping noise. I think it's it's kind of annoying, um, although I got to thinking about it, and it is really helpful to have some kind of feedback that your light hasn't run out of battery yet, because that would be terrible if you're in a high traffic situation and you're signaling and someone doesn't see you and you get hurt. Um, but that's the whole point of this light is to protect you. Um, so I really like it. <laughs> I think uh, for 20 bucks or so, like it's gonna keep you safe and uh, yeah, it's just one of those things that all bikes should have, especially if you're riding in a city and doing a lot of turns and everything. You don't have dedicated trails. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, witty suggestions, let me know. And uh, I'd love to hear your feedback on the Am Focus bike taillight. Catch you next time, guys.